Hello and welcome to pre-algebra lesson one. And in this video, we're gonna be learning about place value. So our lesson objectives for today will be to learn basic definitions of terms relating to place value. We wanna gain a basic understanding of how our number system works. And then lastly, we wanna learn how to construct and use a place value chart. So let's begin our lesson today by looking at some basic definitions. We'll start out by defining a group of numbers known as the whole numbers. So the whole numbers start with zero, okay, start with zero, and increase in increments of one indefinitely. So when we say indefinitely, we literally mean forever and ever and ever. There is no largest whole number. So no matter how large a number is, we can always add one and get to the next largest whole number number. So looking at the whole numbers here, let's kind of wrote this out. So we have zero as the first whole number or the smallest whole number. And then it increases in increments of one. So then you go to one, then two, then three, then four, then five, and then so on and so forth. So that's what the three dots here tell us. After five, you'd have six, then seven, then eight. It just continues forever and ever and ever. Okay, so now let's talk about a group of whole numbers that we use to build numbers. And these whole numbers are known as the digits. So the whole numbers zero through nine, zero through nine are referred to as digits. Okay, and I have them listed here. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then finally nine. So it's basically just the first 10 whole numbers. And what's interesting here is that we have a number system that uses only these first 10 whole numbers and allows us to build any number that we want. The key is that as we change a digit's position in a number, its value changes, okay? As we change a digit's position in a number, its value changes. Let's kind of scroll down a little bit. And after I kind of read through this, we're gonna look at an example of that. So as I just kind of mentioned, our number system relies on the digits as well as place value to build each number. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at four numbers, each containing the digit nine. And what we're gonna see is that as the nine is in a different position in each number, it gets a different value, okay? That's why we have a place value system. So we'll start out with this 49. And I'm gonna write this in what we call expanded notation. And we'll learn this in, in the next lesson. For right now, we're just using it as a tool to kind of see the value of the nine. So 49, we're gonna think about this as 40 plus nine. Another way you can think about 49 is, let's say you had $49, and I said, I'll, I'll give you $49 in tens and ones only. Well, then you'd have four tens, you would have four tens or four $10 bills, plus you'd have nine ones or nine $1 bills. Okay, that might be an easier way to think about it. So you can see that the value of the nine there is just a nine, that's all it is. And the reason for that is because the nine is what we call the ones place. So anything that occupies that place just gets multiplied by one. So nine times one is nine, so it still has the value of itself. Now, if we move on to the next part, we have 192. Let's write this as 100 plus 90 plus two. What we're gonna see now is that the nine has a different value. The nine now is in what we call the tens place. Okay, so it has a value of 90 because nine times 10 is 90. You have nine tens. So think about this in terms of money. You'd have what, $100 bill, $100 bill, plus you'd have nine $10 bills or nine tens. So nine tens and then plus two, ones or two singles. So $100 bill, nine $10 bills, and then two $1 bills. That would give you $192. So the main thing to understand here is that although the nine is the same in each case, because it occupies a different place or position in the number, its value changes. In the first case, it's just a nine. In the second case, it's a 90. And let's continue. We have 3,945. So let me kind of scroll down a little bit. I'll just write this one down here. So that would be 3,000 plus 900 plus 40 plus five. And in this case, we get 900 as the value for the nine, because that nine is in what we call the hundreds place. So it's nine times 100 or 900. 
And then for our last one, we have 9,687. So that's going to be 9,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 7. So let's just kind of highlight this here to show that the 9 is worth 9,000 now, right? Because it's in what we call the thousands place. 9 times 1,000 is 9,000. So it's okay if you don't know place values yet. We're going to learn that in a second. I'm just showing you this so that you understand that as you move a digit around, it's going to obtain a different value. Essentially, a digit gets its value by multiplying itself by the place value that it lies in. So in this case, the 9 is in the 1's place. So 9 times 1 is 9. It has a value of 9. In this case, for 192, the 9 is in the 10's place. So 9 times 10 is 90. It has a value of 90. In this case, 3,945, the 9 is in the 100's place. 9 times 100 is 900. It has a value of 900. And in the final case, 9,687, the 9 is in the 1,000's place. So it's 9 times 1,000 or 9,000 as its value. Okay, so now let's take a look at a place value chart. And the place value chart is basically an easy way for you to learn and memorize your place values. So the place value chart shows the place value for each digit in a number. Numbers continue forever and ever and ever. So there's not going to be a largest place. Here I have from the ones place out to the trillions place. But to the left of the trillions place is the 10 trillions, then the 100 trillions. It just continues and continues and continues. And I'll kind of explain to you how you can figure out what the place values are past the trillions. But for right now, I just want to kind of explain this to you. So the rightmost digit of a number is always in the ones place. So that's why you have this all the way on the right. If you go one place to the left in a number, that's in the tens. Then as you continue to move left, then you have the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, the millions, the ten millions, the hundred millions, the billions, the ten billions, the hundred billions, and then the trillions. And again, it doesn't stop there. But the one thing I want you to know, and a lot of teachers don't kind of cover this until later on, is that this is based on the number 10. So if you get lost, I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to help you out. So let's say you just start out with the ones, just write a number one there. That's easy to remember. The rightmost position of a number is in the ones place, so you just write a one. As you move to the left, you're going to multiply by 10. So 1 times 10, 1 times 10 is 10. So that puts me in the tens. Then as I move to the left, I multiply by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And I just keep doing that. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So this is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. 100,000 times 10 is a million. A million times 10 is 10 million. 10 million times 10 is 100 million. So on and so forth. So that's how I know that after trillions, I get 10 trillions because a trillion times 10 is 10 trillion. Then after 10 trillion, I get 100 trillion. So 10 trillion times 10 is 100 trillion. So on and so forth. So if you ever get stuck and you don't have a place value chart, I'm giving you a number like, let's say 355, and you just can't remember what place the three is in, I could start with the rightmost number and say, okay, this is in the ones. This is in the ones. And then as I move left, I'm just multiplying by 10. So 1 times 10 is 10, so this is in the tens. And then 10 times 10 is 100, so this is in the hundreds. Okay, so let's take a look at a number. And we're going to put it in the place value chart, and we're going to think about what it means. So our number is going to be 15,221. So to use the place value chart, you just take the rightmost digit, and you put it in the rightmost column. So the 1 is going to go in the 1s. Then you're going to just match your movement in the place value chart from what you do in the number. You're just going this way. So I'm going to take this 2. I'm going to put it in the tens. I'm going to take this other 2. I'm going to put that in the hundreds. I'm going to take this 5. I'm going to put that in the thousands. And then I'm going to take this 1. And I'm going to put that in the ten thousands. So if we think about what this number means, 15,221, it's telling me I have 1 ten thousands or 10,000. It's telling me I have five thousands or just five thousand. It's telling me I have two hundreds or two hundred. It's telling me I have two tens or twenty. And then it's telling me that I have one one or just one. If I were to sum this, okay, if I were to sum this, 
I would get the original number back, 15,221, because I've just broken it down. Okay, I've just broken it down into each digit multiplied by its corresponding place value. And more often you're gonna see this written like this, 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 200 plus 20 plus one equals 15,221. This is called expanded notation. We're gonna cover that in the next lesson. But I'm just doing it right now to kind of break down the number so you can see what each digit is worth. So now let's talk about the number 102,467. So 102,467. So let's just write this in the place value chart to begin. So we take the rightmost digit, which is seven, we put it in the rightmost column of the place value chart. So seven goes in the ones, and then we move one digit to the left in the number, and we match that on the place value chart. So we take the six and put it here. We take the four and put it here. We take the two and put it here. We take the zero and put it here, and the one and we put it here. Now, 102,467 is what? It's 100 thousands, so that's 100,000. It's zero ten thousands. It's two thousands, so 2,000. It's four hundreds, so 400. It's six tens or 60. And then it's seven ones or just seven. So there's your number 102,467 broken down. 100,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus 60 plus seven. So before we move on to the next part, I just wanna draw your attention to this zero right here. What do you think this zero means? We have zero ten thousands. Well, the zero in this case is acting as a placeholder. It's allowing us to write this one over here in the hundred thousands place, instead of collapsing it into the next place where we can't tell the difference between 12,467 and our number 102,467. It allows us to put a space there without adding any value. So that's why we say it's a place holder. Okay, so let's practice writing a number inside of a place value chart. And basically what we have is 673,452. Again, we just take the rightmost digit of the number, put it in the rightmost column. So the two goes in the ones, and we just move left. So the five is gonna go in the tens, the four is gonna go in the hundreds, the three is gonna go in the thousands, the seven is gonna go in the 10 thousands, and then the six is gonna go in the hundred thousands. For the next problem, we have 7,853,922,673. Take the three and put it in the ones place and just move left. Seven goes in the tens, six goes in the hundreds, two goes in the thousands. This two here is gonna go in the 10 thousands. The nine is in the hundred thousands. The three is in the millions. The five is in the 10 millions. The eight is in the hundred millions. And then finally the seven will be in the billions. So a typical place value test consists of questions that ask for the place value of a specified digit. Let's try a few examples. We wanna find the place value for each underlying digit. So our first problem is 673,581, and we have an eight that's underlined here and a three that's underlined here. So let's just write this number in our place value chart and then we'll write out what the place values are for those underlying digits. So start with the rightmost digit, which is a one, put that in the ones place. Then we're gonna move left. So the eight's gonna go in the tens, the five's gonna go in the hundreds, the three's gonna go in the thousands, the seven's gonna go in the 10 thousands, and then the six is gonna go in the hundred thousands. Now, we're looking for the place value again of the three, which is the thousands, and the eight, which is the tens. So let's just write here that this is gonna be in the tens. And then this is going to be in the thousands. Okay, now we have 6,358,791. And our underlying digits would be a seven and a three. So again, let's write this number in the place value chart. So we start with the rightmost digit, that's a one, that's gonna go in the ones place. And we move left, we have a nine in the tens place, a seven in the hundreds place, an eight in the thousands place, a five in the ten thousands place, a three in the hundred thousands place, and then finally a six in the millions place. So we're looking for the place value for the seven, which is the hundreds, 
and the three, which is the hundred thousands. So the seven is going to be in the hundreds, the hundreds place, and then the three is going to be in the hundred thousands place. Hundred, the hundred thousands place. Okay, we have nine trillion five hundred fifty-one billion seventy-two million six hundred fifty-six thousand ten, and our underlying digits would be this five, this seven, this five, and then this nine. So let's go ahead and write our number in here. Take the zero, the rightmost digit, put it in the ones place. And then just move left. So then we have a one, a zero, a six, a five, a six, a two, a seven, a zero, a one, a five, a five, and then a nine. So the first digit moving from right to left would be this five, and that's in the ten thousands place. So let's just write that. That's in the ten thousands place then moving to the left we see that we need this seven that's in the ten millions so let's kind of write this over here that's in the ten millions then as we keep moving to the left next we want this five here we've got to be careful because there's two fives side by side so it's not this five it's the left five so it's this one right here and that's going to be in the hundred billions place so that's going to be in the hundred the hundred billions place. And then lastly, we have the nine, and that's going to be in the trillions place. So that'll be in the trillions, the trillions place. All right, so to kind of wrap up the lesson, let's try a few without the place value chart. And if you just cannot remember them, again, use my trick. So we have 7,036, and the three is underlined. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to start at the rightmost digit and I'm just going to write that this is in the ones place. Everybody should be able to remember that the rightmost digit is the ones place. And then all you have to do as you move left, just multiply by 10. So times 10. So this is the tens times 10 again. This is the hundreds and then times 10. This is the thousands. So if I'm looking for the three, that's in the tens. Let's do the same thing for 64,114. Again, start at the rightmost digit. That's going to be the ones. And as we move left, we multiply by 10. So 1 times 10 is 10. So this will be the tens. Then this will be the hundreds. Then this will be the thousands. And then this will be the ten thousands. So the four is in the thousands place, right? Thousands. Okay, one more. We have 1,998,004,557. We're looking for the place value of that nine. So again, the rightmost digit is in the ones, and we multiply by 10 as we move to the left. So one times 10 is 10, so then we get tens. Then 10 times 10 is 100, so we get hundreds. Then we'd have a 1,000, so thousands. Then we'd have 10,000, so 10,000s. 10, then 10,000 times 10 is 100,000, so we'd have 100 thousands then 100,000 times 10 is 1 million so we'd have millions millions then continuing we'd have 10 millions then we'd have 100 millions and then we'd have billions okay so the 9 here the nine here is in the hundred millions place. So hundred, hundred millions place. 